Hi, I'm Travis Rail, the CTO here at Innovative Solutions, and today we're going to make a document processor and parser within Tailwinds. What you see in the screen is our agent flow. In Tailwinds, you're able to create sequential agents who interact and do things on behalf of you uh, in a start and end fashion. On our canvas, we have a start and end node. Let's fill it in and create our document processor. Step one is going to be what LM do we want to use? For today, we're going to use Amazon Bedrock, and specifically Anthropic Cloud. I'm bringing Bedrock on the screen. I'm adding my credentials, and I'm also going to use the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet for today's demo. Lastly, I'm going to set the temperature to zero because I want a really literal output, no creativity. Connect my LLM to my start node. The next thing I need to do is, what do I want to do in this workflow? Well, I want to provide a document processing process. So I'm going to grab an LM node within our sequential agent section of the product. The next thing we're going to do is now customize the node. The first thing we're going to do is hit the additional parameters button. We have to give it a system prompt. A system prompt is the background of how the LM is going to function when it tries to perform a request. I have one pre-made. This is also available on our documentation website at tailwindstocks.innovativesoul.com. I'm gonna add the system prompt and show it to you very quickly. In this prompt, I'm going to tell the AI that there's a, a number of entities we want to extract from a document and as a variable. We're going to give it a format for how we want to extract those entities and the entity type, extracted text, and a confidence score on a zero to one scale of how confident the LLM is uh, in that entity that it's extracting. We're going to give it examples of good and bad so it knows how to parse it correctly. And we're gonna ask it to output as JSON. So let's save this. In the human prompt, we're simply gonna put bracket text bracket, because this is a variable that we're going to insert our document into to be processed. Inside of our format prompt values will be all of our variables. The very first one is our text variable. Inside of here, we're gonna edit, we're gonna change this to be the question, which is gonna be the document. The second is a comma separated entities variable. This is all the things you want to extract from the document. In my example, I'm going to take uh, a person, uh, their occupation, um, their doctor, their symptoms and more, because we're going to parse a doctor's note. We're going to parse information about a, a healthcare issue. Save. Next is I want to format this output in JSON so that other systems can interact with the content as it's being extracted. In this JSON structured output, we're going to add an item. We're going to name it the entity array. Add my key. Give it a type of string array because we're making an array of items it finds. And we're going to give it a description. I have a description here. Uh, it is very verbose. We'll also make sure this is available on our documentation site. Now once I'm done, I'm going to click off. I'm going to save. Now we're going to open our chatbot. Now, from a document perspective, this chat interface is the document itself. This is not a conversation we're having. So it's a bit of a misnomer. I'm going to open up the box, chat box. I'm going to insert my content. I'm going to ask the process. And the output should show uh, the different types of information it extracts. Sarah Johnson, Michael Thompson, Emily Davis, and more. I hope this is helpful. Uh, happy to talk more. Reach out to us at innovativesoul.com. Welcome to Tailwinds.